Well, Rhonda, all I can think of is, so bring me some figgy pudding, so oh. bring me some figgy pudding, as we're having Christmas with Dad today. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Look at this feast you've created. I just love cooking my daddy's favorite foods. Nothing tickles me more than to see my daddy happy at a table, mm. y'all. So I made my Aunt May's fig and mustard ham. It's just figs. Whole Foods has them fresh in their grocery market, you, in their produce department. You just get your one pound of figs, add, uh, put it in the food processor or in the blender to get them real fine. You don't even have to peel them. I mean, so easy. And you cook it down with the sugar till the sugar dissolves, quarter cup of mustard, and you inject your ham and whatever's left. You just mm. slather that on there and yep. rub it on in. It is delish. Travis, why don't you go ahead and grab Miss Dana some, mm. some of this. I'm working hard with the camera. I need some help there. You know, I don't know how to make no figgy pudding, but I can make a ham. <laughs> and then That's fabulous. We have my whipped potatoes with bacon and chives to complement my ham. And then we have our corn casserole. Every aunt has a corn casserole recipe, but I like my Aunt Rita's best. Wow. And then we have a creamed spinach casserole. Wait until you dive into that, Dana. It's loaded with deliciousness and garlic. I love me some garlic. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. This is Dad's Christmas dinner. It's We've shred. got all the recipes. Up on the blog, you can go to sunny99.com, click on Dana Mornings, or go to Sunny Mornings, where you will see Rhonda all dressed up for Christmas. Now, I see you keep looking over. What do we have over here? Whoa! I've got a fabulous holiday cocktail recipe for y'all. <laughs> I made a simple syrup with some sugar and some water, and then I added some cloves, fresh ginger grated up, some cinnamon, some allspice, Cook that down, put it in the fridge, let it sit, let all those flavors marry real good. And then I wanted to make for y'all a holatini, y'all. So I used some of that simple syrup I whipped up, put that on the edge of my martini glass, and then I like cinnamon and sugar on there. I got some ice in my little shaker. And you know what, Dana? You don't have to have this be an alcoholic holatini. You can make substitutions to, to take care of that. Here's my simple syrup. If you don't want an alcoholic holotini, instead of using the orange vodka like I'm going to use, mm -hmm. you just go ahead and use orange juice. It, Great the simple, idea. Yeah, the simple syrup's just that delicious. It is perfect. And then the holidays for Christmas time, we are going to splash that up with some fabulous pomegranate juice. Just to splash this whole bottle will take care of your party. Just whoop, just like oh, that. Isn't that beautiful. Absolutely. It's beautiful. It's delicious. It tastes like Christmas. This year, if you want to forego the mold wine, I recommend taking this little cocktail on. And if you want to make your evening last and not you know, be a party pooper and go straight to sleep. <laughs> and crash on the floor. Yeah. Sure. You could do half a shot or just Simply go with the orange juice. I'm telling y'all, oh, I have waited delicious. all day long. Cheers and Merry Christmas. Mm. Merry Christmas, Sunny listeners. Aww. Thank y'all for watching. And thanks, Dad, for your inspiration. Yay, Daddy! Uh, Travis, I'll take that. Thank you so much. That's true. Don't, don't mind the hands. I'll be digging in. Merry Christmas.